together. Whoa, in person, we're just doing some camera fixing. Look at that. I think it's pretty good, right? Yeah, fix it up. There we Make go. Make it up. We're good. We're here. It's the freaking weekend, baby. I'm about to have me some fun. Dustin, how's it going, bud? Doo doo. It's going doo doo and pee pee. Doo doo pee pee. Uh, you know, no, it's uh, it's going. Uh, as y'all know, uh, I have been gone. I've been in the hospital for going on. It feels like a lifetime. It's been two weeks now. My son was born two weeks ago. He is still in the NICU. Um, we're getting there, y'all. We're getting there. Hopefully, he'll be able to come home soon. Just uh, You guys keep your thoughts and prayers and mantras and chakras and all that stuff going. Um, NICU sounds like Nick University. Like, I want to go. Like, whenever I hear the word NICU, not to make light of anything, but I'm like, NICU. Uh, University. So the NICU if, uh, is one of the worst places in the world. Uh, it is it's a bunch of sick babies with uh, cords and tubes and stuff attached to them. And every five seconds, you have alarms going off. I don't. I gotta give it to you. Those nurses that work in the NICU are heroes. Uh, the, the, uh, there's no way I could listen to those sounds like that for 16 hour shifts. Uh, for me, I just um, hate hospitals, so um, I wouldn't do that as at all yeah they're pretty don't like hospitals do awful. not like hospitals they're gross but saves people lives but we're not here to talk about hospitals but that's a nice segue because we're like where's nerdy dustin been that's where he's been that's where i've been but i'm back and i'll be back, back to making full content this week so uh a lot of juicy content coming out too so i think the timing's is. perfect yes there lots is. lots of juicy lots of moist content coming out Ooh. the moister the better oh my Ooh. goodness how's the light look we need to turn on one of these lighter these oh yeah we can let's, uh, let's get this shit going we're professionals that's, that's uh yeah we are very professionals I need my best light, <laughs> we were not prepared for this we're always prepared this is the shit that people love <laughs> only only we get production going during the live hey we're amazing last couple lives i did by myself i left to go see if uh the sound was good oh yeah i like that that's good kiss my good side, <laughs> good side. we yes. actually do have an editing station behind us or i guess in f front of us we just the edit need, zone we just need uh someone there <laughs> so we're going to hello what's up creed creed oh man Bittersweet secret here. He may have gotten the Mario movie totally spoiled for him. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Mar oh, yeah. Mario movie reactions are out. Creed, they what are, are the people saying? Let they, us know. They are out. They're out. Are they good? Are they bad? Are they indifferent? Are they sideways? Are they slantways? All right. So as we start most of our lives off, we talk about what's going on this week. Now, this week, I have been trapped in the hospital, so... I've just been watching the actual news, so I have no idea what's going on in entertainment. What have you been watching uh, on the actual I, news? I, I did I did binge watch all five episodes of The Mandalorian. Um, so I had, I had gotten to the first episode uh, before uh, my son's stuff, um, but I've caught up. So uh, we can talk about Mando real quick. Uh, I won't, this is the way. This is I won't spoil anything, but I'll tell you. I do not like it as much as the first two seasons. <laughs> uh, you say God, God bless, bless Dustin. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you for like all your kind words, especially when he's going through all this. It means a lot. I yeah, know. it's it, not just this platform, but all the other platforms. It's in. It's wild how many people I don't even know that have been reaching out to me with their thoughts and prayers. I appreciate that. And Creed, so much. Uh, I'm glad to hear that the reviews have been positive. I know you had a sliver of doubt, my friend. However, I, I knew all the time it's going to be a great movie. Oh, it's going to be a billion dollar movie. It's going to turn into a franchise. We're going to get Donkey about, Kong, me, Zelda. All of it. Let me tell you about Jealousy. Let me tell you about a little bit about Jealousy, right? We are on YouTube. Is that correct? Yep. Right? Uh, fucking Jack Septicai was able to play Mario Kart with Charlie Day. Oh, yeah, I saw With that. Jack Black. I'm like, yep. a fucking YouTuber gets to play. Well, he's not just a fucking YouTuber. He's one of the best in the world. But Jack Septicai gets to that's the kind of that's what I want to be. The Mario movie seems to be great. Yes, not just seems it's going to be great. All right, so you've seen The Mandalorian and you're not liking it. Why, bud? Why? I don't know. It's well, I'm liking it now. So okay. once the 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 last two episodes are, are pretty fantastic. We're starting to get somewhere. Those it's more of just like one-off stories. Um, it's just I don't know. 
it's just what are your thoughts have you watched the first five episodes I've seen them all um and you like the first three episodes yeah no i don't know they just weren't they weren't great for me i mean i enjoyed it because uh you know it's still it's the mandalorian as the title of a tv show isn't just about uh yeah it's the mid it's mid okay i yeah, feel it it's, um it's just not about the gin the jar and yeah, you it's, know, it's about like the Mandos, man. It's about all of it. I was a fan of the Clone Wars and all the cartoons, so I'm really digging all of the stuff that Filoni's put into it. Uh, I like the Doctor Pershing episode too. I'm not gonna lie, boy. I mean, it's fucking Star Wars TV. It's so great. Uh, the last episode, those, the last two episodes have been really, really good. The first two, was like, eh. but again, like if you, f I was like, I forgot. I'm like, okay, so the last season but then i also had to watch book of boba fett and now we're back at mando i just think that uh maybe it's too big a gap in between seasons could be could be could, could be. be um that's yeah like i said real news is depressing there's so much stuff going on right now it's just i i don't know no it's, news is good news just get out of the news man don't yeah, watch the news no. i don't watch it only to see like um, you know results of like wrestlemania and shit like that now yes wrestlemania i did watch last night and it we're, was we're gonna get that it's amazing yeah uh, dreading the Grace Randolph, yeah. All right, Grace Randolph, again, you can go eat a turd. I'm just joking, Grace, if you're watching, I love you. I only say that because I want to be as equally internet famous as you and then overtake you and then take you down a peg or two and kick you out of your high castle. Hey, but that's just my scenario. But yeah, she's going to, you know what, Creed, whether she says she hates it or she loves it, do not take any stock in that woman's words. Don't let it, don't let it bother you. Roll off like a duck's back. But uh, yeah, so man, so let's just talk about uh, WrestleMania. That is something I did not watch. You're not into wrestling, correct? Not since the Attitude Era, baby. Yeah. Um, the thing with wrestling right now, yeah, I mean, honestly, the past three years, wrestling has kind of taken me out of it. The the storylines have been terrible. It's 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 just it hasn't been fun. But. With this Sami Zayn stuff, the, I mean, it's a real story now, and it's amazing. And uh, she praised Morbius. That That's because she was paid to praise Morbius. You're going to realize, so the uh, here's how you'll get solid uh, critiques online. Look for the people that do what we do and that she does that don't have all the fancy stuff given to them, that don't go to the premieres. Then you'll get your real answers. When stuff is paid for... Prime example, I guarantee you, the reason that, like, me and Noah right now aren't getting fancy stuff, we have enough between all our platforms, because we give our actual opinions. <laughs> you can't buy our opinions. So. You can buy my opinion. Okay, you can buy Noah's opinion. <laughs> if someone's like, here, I'm going to send you to watch the Flash movie, we're going to get you an actual replica of the 89 Batmobile, I will fucking say all the great shit about that movie, boy. You can buy my opinion with a Batmobile. <laughs> Just saying, Warner uh, Brothers, hello, McFly, think. <laughs> Come on. You got to give this boy a Batmobile. He's earned it. so funny. Um, but yeah, wrestling, I don't know, wrestling right now is pretty awesome. Uh, even the Logan Paul match last night with KSI and Seth Rollins was hilarious. I loved it. It's sad that the only name I recognize is Logan Paul out of that. Uh, I won't pull a John Camp. Yeah, I promise. <laughs> Unless there's a Batmobile, and I'm sorry, I can't turn it down. But that's only for one movie. You're not gonna pay me in Batmobiles every single time. No, I'm not gonna be a John Camp. Yeah, we're not gonna be a Grace Randolph. Yeah, we're Geek Pulse, baby, and that's why you're here talking with us. Don't pull a John Camp. Yeah. yeah. This boy loves John Campia, though. Not I don't lie. love him. I just, he's really the only one that's still around from the, the good old days of the Wild West days. Yeah, there. I mean, well. Uh, yeah, everyone else is gone, moved on. I mean, forgotten. I Packs, mean, I, has been. I can't. A collider is not even. It's not what it used to be. That's for sure. It's all gone. Uh, collider is definitely not what it used to be. Um, what's his name? Um, the honest guys. Um, oh, I can't even think of his name. He does pl popcorn planet now. Even he's moved away from entertainment. He now does. Most of these guys that we used to watch like five, ten years ago with movie stuff, they've all kind of left movie news and gone into the pulp culture wars because you get more views that way and uh, i don't know it just but john he has stayed there he stay he still does the movie stuff he does he tries to stay away from the political uh side of this stuff i think he gets too arrogant he is still lovable but a little clueless yeah oh yeah he's uh, arrogant as hell oh, the real john camp is very arrogant he's a big, he, big huge narcissist for sure um and a little clueless, yeah. Yeah, I do love that this man is 
supposed to be like the god of movies and stuff but even during his show like basic common things he he's like can't name somebody or yeah i, I find it to be hilarious um, it's all the weedy smokes. You heard it here first. No, I'm yeah. joking. I'm not gonna put in some sort of like deflammatory thing about John <laughs> Campia. But the boy smokes so much weed. Oh, well, I love the sound of paper ripping. That's a personal pleasure of mine. So yeah, uh, so, okay. So yeah, wrestling it was, is amazing again. Uh, more stuff. What else? Mandalorian's great. Uh, that's been this week in news. <laughs> Well, let's see. What did I watch this week? Uh, really, really loved Dungeons and Dragons: Honor Among Thieves. I have not watched that yet, so we're gonna. It was so fucking great. There might be a question or two. I'm not gonna jump ahead with what might be in the bucket. Yeah, I've not been spoiled with that movie yet, so. Uh... <laughs> There's magic in it. Mm, sorry, can't watch um, it now. I did. Wa I ended up watching some. I watched um, Dragged Across the Concrete. Uh, yesterday, it's a movie that came out in 2018. It's on Netflix. It's got Mel Gibson and Vince Vaughn as as uh, two cops that uh, get caught on camera being too aggressive. They get let go, and they, you know, six months of no pay. They can't handle that, so they go uh, try to rob a criminal of his gold. Um, it, it's actually a pretty fantastic movie. I gave it a four out of five. If you guys want to check that out, is on Netflix right now. It's it, it, unless you saw it back in 2018. I don't know. Then rewatch um, it. Then rewatch it. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's I cool. uh, had not seen Missing, uh, which is that that technological yeah, movie. Yeah, it's. I red boxed it. I red boxed something for the first day, for the first time in years the other day. Did you and like I, Missing? I actually really did. Wow, I, yeah, those kind of movies. Uh, I liked it. It's good. And here's my guilty pleasure for you guys for this week. I'm so hooked and so addicted to School Spirits. Peyton List on um, uh, Paramount Plus. That show, it seems on the surface to be more of those teen shows, but no, it's actually a really great. I have, I'm really good at figuring movies and shit out. Missing is great, dude. I loved it. Um, but I have no idea who the killer is. Sorry, there's a, it's a murder mystery. Who the killer is and what is the resolution going to be? And we're like almost like three quarters of the season. I'm like, wow, they've done a good job. And it's one of those shows where it misdirects. I love that's awesome. I, I love, love yeah. when they do a misdirect. It's my favorite thing in the world because you're on that train. You're on the Orient Express, right? There's a murder. You think it's definitely Mr. Smith, but then. No, couldn't be Mr. Smith, you found out. He was with Mr. Jones in the bathroom. I don't know why that came to me. But, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's good. That's a current show that's running right now. I did, speaking of, uh, hold on, I'm actually here praises for Chris Pratt. I'm here, I'm here yeah. praises too for Chris Pratt too. His Mario, going to surprise a lot of people. I really do think that. We've been oh, saying it this whole time. Speaking of, apparently you can go into the, your Switch right now to your Mario games and you can switch over the voice acting from the original to the movie actors. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool technology. Also, there is, it's not a spoiler, but the uh, the guy that does the voice of Mario from the games has two cameos Ooh, in the movie. So they got the they got cool. the Mario voice actor. They're just like, you just can't play Mario. You can't play Mario, <laughs> but maybe you're playing someone that is equally as good or better than Mario. Uh, oh. You heard it here first. That's breaking. That's breaking Mario news. That's so breaking news. The actor who plays Mario and all the Mario does the voice of Mario in the games is is on there. There you go. No, that sir. No, <laughs> that was before. Fools. No, I read that before April Fools, buddy. That was before then. Or if or the, the Chris Pratt is awesome was an April Fools joke. Did you? Uh, <laughs> Did you did you get hit with any April Fools jokes yesterday? Not a bit. Not a one. But I did see. This was cool. I. Someone had said, hey, they want to re... We're making Jaws! They're remaking Jaws, which is never going to happen. But they actually had uh, Christian Bale's Quint. I'm like, that's Ooh. fucking real good. I mean, who they cast for Jaws, the remake that'll never happen, was pretty awesome, but it didn't get me. You just don't... You don't read. I almost did an April Fool's joke on you guys for... Uh, but I'm like, no, nah, maybe not. But the next year, you better believe that when you're watching this next April Fool's, I'm going to play the biggest fucking <laughs> April Fool's joke on all you fools. Your Mutant Mayhem review was controversial. Oh, his his uh, trailer reaction was controversial. Controversial. We talked about that in depth on one of our live streams last about how like, you know, it's controversy, baby. Jaws Four is a masterpiece. Are you? It's not April Fools anymore. No, it's it's not, not April Fools. Fools. I'm not gonna fall for it, Creed. So I did get hit with an April Fools yesterday. What was it? Shout What'd you out believe? to Brian uh, Volquas. He got us good yesterday. Well, some of us. <laughs> 
So he, if you don't know, he owns Narcel. Uh, they've required, or he's acquired the rights to Biker Mice, right? So he's relaunching the toy series and doing all that fun stuff. Well, yesterday he made a video saying that he is... You can't get us, Creed. He is making the a Mars as a playset, right? Like, and he was like, it's bigger than the Unicron uh, action figure. If you don't know Transformers, Unicron's the biggest toy out there. I mean, it's it's massive. So he had me going that like, oh man, he built an actual Mars uh, toy. And obviously it was a joke. Like, but oh shit, April He 1st. had me so excited. The Mario movie was delayed. Yep, they did. I did uh, see that the Mario movie was delayed, and that the Flash movie was delayed till twenty twenty four. There was a lot of good ones out there, and I love seeing all of them and what people try to do. But you better believe, I'll tell you right now, I already have something cooking up here in the old noggin about. What oh, I'm Arrow Video too, y'all. That boutique label that we all love. They played a good ape. Well, I don't know if it's Neighbor Fools anymore because they might actually do it, but they were teasing that they were going to release a Chucky. Um, special edition box that which would be so sick. Totally um, should. That's what should happen. It had hashtag April Fools. So. Fuck that. A little sad. Let's see what else. I think it's been a light week. I mean, of course, you know, um, you finally saw John Wick Chapter Four. Yeah, that was that. No, that was last week, wasn't it? Yeah, but we hadn't talked about it on last. That's right. We have it. Have you seen it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed the hell out of it. Um, Can't stand the people on the the Coon Camera Show. Yeah, I'm not sure if I know what that is. I don't know what that is. But John Wick 4 was fantastic, as always. <clears throat> I'm glad it... Oh, John can't... I'm guessing you're John can't be a show? I, um... I'm, I'm kind of excited that, um... It ended how it ended. I'm not going to spoil John Wick 4 for everyone on here. Well, if, I just saw this this morning. So the creative team behind John Wick is actually upset that they ended it that way because they want to make more. We, he's got he's cameoing I mean, in the spinoffs. You can you can definitely expand on that universe quite easily. Well, um, you've got the what's the name of the hotel? The Continental. That's that movie's coming out. Yeah, and then the ballerina is yeah. coming out, and then they have another. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can up. definitely... I think they just want to do some more stuff with Keanu. But well, he's already I, said Keanu, he's going to be in it. Keanu doesn't want to do much more with this stuff. What if Mario dies in the movie? He doesn't. And I haven't seen the movie. I can tell you he doesn't. <laughs> just, um, dies his hair blonde. Yeah, there you go. Um, but yeah, John Wick 4 is fantastic. Uh, it's my second favorite John Wick movie. Yeah, besides one? Yeah, one is the best. Granted, one... one is nothing like two, three, and four. No, absolutely not. They, um, honestly, they didn't know they were going to make a two, three, yeah. and four when they made one. Um, but the best part of four, I think we both can agree. Then they use the one up. Oh, is Donnie Yen. Shit. Yeah, that's right. Oh, maybe he does die and he uses the extra oh, life. Maybe. Oh, that'd be cool. That's a cliffhanger. That might be a big ass spoiler. That, that might be, be a big damn spoiler. That might I don't be. care. It's cool. All right, so again, this is the, the format we're jumping back into for our Sunday streams. If you guys are just joining us for the first time or one of the best people on the internet like Creed, who's a loyal fan, we got a bunch of questions, right? In a bucket. We grab a piece of paper. Whoever reads the question, the person, the next, the other person has to answer it. And then we go back and forth. Ben from the Daily Wire didn't like it. Well, Ben's a... Wait, is that Ben Shapiro? Because F him. Is that what Ben's thing on it? The Daily Wire? Yeah, he's on the Daily Wire. Oh, Ben Shapiro's a piece John Wick of... Chapter 4 is fantastic. John, All right, let's do this. So, I pick a question. He's got the first chance to answer it, and I'll answer it too. And then, at the end of the stream, we're going to leave it open for you guys to ask us questions. So, first part, we're asking the question. So, get over it! <clears throat> Saddle up! Am I going first? No, I'm going first. Okay. Trying to steal my thunder, boy. No, I'm joking. Here we go. First question. Oh. All right. Will Dungeons & Dragons now be a franchise with the success of Honor Among Thieves? Well, I do see that as being successful. So, yes, that will lead to a franchise. All right. Okay. You've still not seen the film. I still have not. But Very I have... Good. I haven't read the reviews, but I have seen the the reactions and people praising Actually, it. Uh, I read the prequel comic as well. Um, and it really adds a lot to... Yes, Dungeons & Dragons made so much money and no one <laughs> expected it. it I, I also think it's going to be a, a franchise. And it can be. And imagine... Oh, yeah. Talk about mining a rich universe. Fucking Dungeons & Dragons. Thank you guys for um, voting in uh, one of the polls we've been doing on the community post. Yes, in fact, the longest game... Longest running game of Dungeons & Dragons is older... Then Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, the game is still going on to this day. It's like 20 years. 
wild, right? Wild. I think my longest game Are you was guys six months. That's pretty good. Are you guys liking those community posts? Let me know. Best Tom Selleck movie. <laughs> Best three minute of baby. Yep, I gotta agree. Three men and a baby. Yep, that is absolutely my granted, favorite. that's not your typical Tom Selleck movie role, but he killed it in those movies. My favorite Tom Selleck role is from Friends. <laughs> I always forget that he was in Friends. That's right, he was uh Monica's, Monica's boyfriend. longtime boyfriend. Yeah, before, that's right. And really, like, even after her and Chandler got together, shout out to my lovely uh, fiance Mary. She loves Friends. We should drive down the Rainbow Road. I would man. That is sounds like a euphemism in so many ways, but I will I will drive down the rainbow road with you, brother, all day long, into the nighttime. But yeah, so uh, Tom Selleck. So my second, let's pick second favorite Tom Selleck. Uh, uh, oh my God, well, I'm having a brain fart here. Not um, Mr. Baseball. No. <laughs> To, uh, we'll get. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to it. We'll a lady and three men. Is sure. that the sequel? Three men and a little lady. There you go. <laughs> I can't think of the. Look at all these movies. Uh, and I couldn't think of the Going sequel, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here we go. Next question. And you guys, feel free to answer these questions in the the chat below as well. All right. When we become famous. Hey, what's up, Random Street Theater? Eric Nunn, best known for Halo. That's right. Nerdy Dustin. When we become YouTube famous, what is the first nerdy thing you're going to buy? Oh, I've so when I have real money uh, coming from all this film, television, YouTube stuff we do, um, it will be the 1989 Batmobile. Ooh. And that's how you'll know I'm rich as shit. <laughs> that's not going to be the first thing I buy because I don't want to wait that long. I don't wait that long. For me, I'm going to buy like an actual ALF puppet, like used in the ALF TV show. Or I did see the other day, it's all over. I haven't been that great, dude, still looking for a job. Dude, man, random street. Hey, we'd hire you in a heartbeat with as some sort of creative director at the Geek Pulse headquarters if we could, brother. But like, keep your nose up, man. It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. But yeah, uh, the other day I saw, it's all over Facebook. You know how one person posts something that's everywhere? But it was the actual surprised puppet uh, from the uh, from Gremlins, from Gizmo, oh, yeah. and that shit is terrifying as fuck. And I want to have it. Got to have it in my house. That'd be that'd be sick. So yes, Noah will have a bunch of puppets when we're rich, and I'll have a bunch of cars because I also want the uh, obviously the eighty three DeLorean. I take that back too. I also want to spend money on creating very lifelike puppets of me and you. And one of the live streams is we're just puppeting ourselves. That would be dope. Goddamn awesome. If you could create a YouTube channel that is not pulp culture related, what would it be? Ooh, I like that. Ooh, okay. So if it wasn't, uh, it's a joke, by the way. I got it, man. I'm, oh, so, so sometimes our reactions to your jokes are also jokes or true reactions. You never know. We're 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 rogue. We're renegades, baby. So if I did a YouTube channel that wasn't, so I was trying to think of my expertise and different things. I would like to do like, I want to do a, a like a travel. YouTube channel because I've spent many many years in the hotel business. I wanted to tell you how to get the best deals on hotels, what to do, what not to do, how to get like the best experience, and also would travel around different places to like review hotels and places like that. Mine would be a travel travel channel. I'm actually with them. I would do it a little different though. I would love to have a travel vlog, but I would go to every state and let you guys know the best places to get food. Um, That's great. That's great. And the coolest things to see. Um, so I have traveled the United States. Uh, I love, I'm a traveling nut. Um, so like I can tell you right now, if you want the best steak in the world, you go to Texas. If you want the best pizza, you go to New York or Chicago. So I would do things like that. Uh, pizza is one of the best foods ever. It My is, last yeah. job was at a hotel that gives out rubber duckies. That's, That's a, pretty dope. That's yeah, like I worked at a hotel, coincidentally enough, that one day of the year we gave out rubber duckies because it was a big duck race on the Tuck of CG called Ducks in the Tuck. Um, but yes, uh, Creed, I think that the Five Nights at Freddy's movie is going to be really great. Matthew Lillard, he doesn't pick a bad movie. 13 Ghosts, am I right? Um, I, my, my second thing would be I, I love... I love, like, carnival-like atmosphere. I love, like, a seedy underbelly of society. That's why I love documentaries. I would take a whole year, and I would travel in an RV to every single, like, big th flea market in the United States, and I would spend a week 
at that flea market with the vendors. So not only would I go and see like what they're selling, but I would see what's your nighttime life like? Like what, are you just pounding beers and smoking weed? What are you doing? You got weird like stories? That's what I would love to do. That's what I would, that would love to do. All right, so now it's your turn. Mm -hmm. All right. Here's the next question. You ready for this? If you could pick a minor Star Wars character to do a Disney Plus show about, who would it be? A minor character? A minor Star Wars character. Not someone that's young in the Star Wars universe, but a minor Star Wars character to do a whole Disney Plus show on, who would it be? Oh, wow. That's, I mean, oof. Um, that's a good one. Probably... Is, uh, no, am I limited to the... Books, movies, Any Star Wars character. Um, Kit Fisto. Kit Fisto. Very, very good. Would Kit fun. Fisto would be good. Um, I would actually... I guess he's not a minor character, but I would love to see... Porkins. Oh, right. baby, great answer. I Honestly, I would really like to see Fuck a yes. Mace Windu show before he... Like, as he was growing. So surprised you've not done that. Jar Jar. Um, oh, so great answer. Jar Jar. No, I do not want to see a Jar Jar movie. Um, yeah, those would probably be my... I guess, like I said, Mace isn't... Uh, um, that's a hard question. Cause that's I pretty mean, good, like, though. That's pretty a good, good question. one. That is a good one. For me, I would probably do... Um, fuck. That, um, like, Greedo. I would do uh, a Disney Plus show about Greedo right up until when he dies. And Han kills him. A Greedo. That would be... Greedo. Oh, he's not a... You said minor. I've always wanted to see a um, Grievous movie. General Grievous. Or a, like, yeah. a, like a, a Disney Plus show. Uh, why are you using the Rise of Skywalker popcorn bucket? So we just need a bucket and it's my favorite bucket I have. <laughs> That's the only reason why. We, so that you ask us yeah, why, why we're, we're using, using a Rise of Skywalker um, popcorn bucket. That's why. I do have an Avengers one we could switch to. Next time we do Avengers. We'll one. do Avengers. My favorite song is Take On Me and it's... Is it more, really? Take On Me, that's a good song. That's a... Aha, baby. That, Take On Me. That is... I also heard that Jack Black has a rap that he does as Bowser. A Bowser rap. That's pretty inside. sweet. Sorry, that might be a spoiler, but like it might... It's something to get you more excited. That is pretty sweet. Oh, what was your character? Greedo. Greedo, that's right. Greedo. Greedo. I always thought Greedo was an interesting character. Greedo. All right. Uh, favorite A24 movie? Because it is the biggest and hottest studio in Hollywood oh, right now. Oh, man. It's like part of me wants to say everything everywhere all at once. Um, because it's just like it, overall well-rounded. But I'm going to go with... Uh, it's not a spoiler. Good, good. You still never checked out those Lord of the Rings medallions, this guy. Um, I'm sorry, I've been busy with the birth of my son. I'm sorry. <laughs> celebrate good times, come um, on. Uh, for me, I'm gonna go ahead and go with uh, Pearl. Pearl's your favorite, wow. Um, I just love it. My favorite, that's hard, that's a hard question because I love all of, I. the room maybe? Uncut Gems. I'm, yeah, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, um... Three more? Dang, dude. I'm, you know, uh, the whale, I... Mm, Pearl's good. X is good. I'm crying with excitement over the Mario movie. Dude, tears of joy. Tears of joy. Bring a tissue box with you. Midsummer, maybe? Midsummer. Summer. I don't know. I'm going to go with the room. This week, it's happening. Oh, my God. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to go with the room. That's gonna, my favorite. That's a great one. Are you seeing it Thursday? Are you going to watch it Thursday, Creed? Let me know. Next question is... Uh, Most A24 movies make me cry, Uncut too. Uncut Gems made me cry, for sure. Yeah. Uh, are you excited about the Blue Beetle trailer dropping tomorrow? I am excited as hell for that movie. Did you see the preview of the trailer today? I did not. It's, it, all right, it looks great. I, I'm very excited about the Blue... I'll do a trailer reaction to it. Here's, here's how I know that movie's going to be great. Because James Gunn didn't can it. <laughs> Whoa! Hot take! We should ring that uh, James Gunn bell whenever we give give him shit. Um, no, I, I love Blue Beetle as a character. It's one of my favorite comic book characters. Uh, I think that uh, based on the 30 seconds I saw 
of the trailer for tomorrow. It's got me jazzed as fuck. Yeah, that's something that gets on my nerves. This this new we, they've been doing it for like seven years now, but having trailers for trailers, I think, is the dumbest thing. I'm ever. cool with it because it gives me a heads up on when I can <laughs> do a trailer reaction. It's so dumb. give me a heads up on when I can do a trailer reaction. Yes, yeah, so tell me when the trailer's coming out so that I can. But the taste I tasted, and it would taste so blue and so beadly. Adam Sandler is a great actor. He is just uh, in crappy movies. Uncut Gems proves that. Yeah, maybe. That's a hot take. But have I you mean, ever seen Hubie Halloween? One of the best Halloween movies ever made. I mean, the movies that he in, is in, though, are his movies. Punch Drunk Love. So, that's not his movie. Well, most, most of his movies are his movies. What's that chef movie where he's a chef? Oh, co is a cobbler? No, nope. that's a shoemaker. I can't remember. Thoughts on the Marvels? Just general thoughts on the Marvels? Yeah. Uh, it could work. Uh, the fact that they pushed it back and they're retooling the... Uh, I reviewed his Halloween movie. Yeah, okay. Shuby Halloween. I actually liked it. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I Anything that's like cheesy Halloween-esque shit for me is, is going to be right up there for me. Uh, the Marvels, okay. I don't have hate for it. You guys like the game Punk... My fucking voice cracked. Punch out! I mean, I did when I was younger, but Super as punch an out. adult, they no. should make a punch out movie. Uh, let's just go with it. Come on, Mike Tyson, he ain't doing shit. Um, yeah, no. Um, damn, what was the question? I'm sick about punch out now. <laughs> What's your thoughts on the Marvels? The Marvels, it could work. It's in trouble. All of Marvels in trouble. But the word trouble is just like minor because, like, uh, yeah. Oh, the Marvels going to bomb? That's a hot take. Could be. Uh, Marvels in trouble based on. Marvel standards. Marvel's not in trouble based on movie making and all that yeah. stuff. All theaters push movies back. All theaters retool things. Uh, I think it could work. I, I got to know what the story is, though. I know why, you know, the three people. But what, what does that mean to me as a, a movie fan of the universe? Is it going to tie into uh, the Kang Dynasty? Is it going to, like, I need to know more about what the plot of the Marvels is to make my mind up about it. Who's the villain? A lot of that has to do with that for me. I was like, who are they going to face? What what threat needs three of the most powerful like cosmic characters to come together? I think it's gonna be fantastic, and uh, Kamala is an amazing character. We've seen her in the Disney Plus stuff, and she's been fantastic. Rambo's uh, fantastic. I I the only thing with my thoughts on the Marvels is for the love of everything, I hope Brie Larson decides to like actually want to be there. She doesn't. I think the Brie Larson's uh, already saying that she's not going to get any uh, movies past the Marvels. I that was my so my problem with her in in the Marvel movie in the first Captain Marvel movie is you when she's she just when she was acting it just felt like she didn't want to be there she didn't want that role she didn't give it her all farther further faster baby I mean she is a fantastic actress so it just we just didn't get I'm we didn't excited get, to see her in Fast Ten I I don't know she just <laughs> Fast Ten it's all about family it's all about family. Um. Yeah. So I don't know. So yeah, I it might it might Creed. You might have called it. It might bomb. It might it. bomb. All right. Here we go. Will the Marvels movie bomb? No, I'm just joking. That's not what it is. What's the best movie starship? Best a movie starship. What's the best movie starship? A starship in a movie. What's the best movie starship? Well, the best is probably the Death Star. Okay. I mean, the best is the Death Star. I mean, I'm talking my, I don't, so the best as in the most powerful or my favorite? Whatever you think the best Because my favorite's probably the USS Reliant. I love the design of that thing. And it's in The Wrath of Khan, which is one of my favorite sci-fi movies. Of I'm going to say the Enterprise, USS Enterprise. Which one, though? Whatever the fucking, I don't get I'm not a fucking nerd. <laughs> the one where they're all in it. I was going to say the Nostromo, but that's not a really good one. That's a death trap for people. It is a death trap. It's a death trap. <laughs> no. Best movie, um, Starship? I do like an X-Wing, too, because it's very maneuverable, and it is a badass-looking yeah. machine. I do, yeah. I like an X-Wing. D. Enterprise D was the best Enterprise. D is the one from... Um, uh, it's the one after C. Uh, it's the one you I, if I remember correctly it's the one you see in uh, the G, uh, Star Trek Next Generation is D so D for Next Generation so yes I'm going USS Reliant you're going Nostromo oh, still <laughs> fucking kill it <laughs> there you go best horror remake The Thing 
Hold That's up. a horror movie. Hold up. John Carpenter's The Thing. Oh. Mm. Best horror remake. I. John Carpenter's The Thing. I'm going to go with The Dawn of the Dead. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. George A. Romero, I know you're in heaven or hell or both. I don't know. Please forgive him. He knows not what he speaks. Um, yeah, the best? The best Out of all remake. of them? Or, here's another hot take for you, Evil Dead. That remake was fantastic, and I cannot wait for the new Evil Dead movie. Woo! Evil Dead Rise is going to be great. But so good. Dude, the 2013 Evil Dead was not the... Oh, my gosh. Uh, it was way better than the original. No, it was not. <laughs> yeah. The thing made a uh, space carrot into a real monster. You're damn straight it did. John Carpenter, all of it, man. I could I have a whole I could just talk about the thing all night freaking long, man. I so I'm going it. Evil Dead or not Evil Dead. I'm going Dawn of the Dead and he's going with the thing. That's why I run the horror channel. <laughs> Here's a great question. I'm very excited about your answer and your answer. What Marvel character would work best as a musical? What Marvel character? Yeah. Would work best as a musical? I don't... What Marvel character? So the musical is based on that character? Yeah, so if you're making a Marvel character into a movie, but the movie's going to be a musical. Oh, um... Honestly, Deadpool. Deadpool is, that's the pretty good, obvious answer. Deadpool would be good. Deadpool is, yeah, that's Dazzler. <laughs> no. She's a disco queen. No, I think Squirrel Girl would make a great musical. Uh, yeah. I'm hoping we get to see her soon in live action. Squirrel Girl is awesome. That, a character. that is a huge fan favorite. Dazzler's too easy. That's the musical yeah. character. Jubilee, baby. Uh, <laughs> Jubilee. Jubilee. Mr. Sinister. <laughs> oh. Uh, my Bloody Valentine was one hell of a remake. It was actually very good. It was. Yeah. I Jensen love that. Jensen was fantastic. Jensen was great. Um, he named his son Jensen because actually, of that. Actually, actually, I take it back. I think my favorite... No, it's still not dead. <laughs> Please don't. Uh, okay, I don't think Noah's going to be able to answer this because he doesn't really like anime. So, favorite anime character. Um, We'll do this. Uh, it says Pikachu. anime. But I say we can just do animation in general. But um, favorite anime character of all time, the Iron Giant. Uh, mine is Vegeta. Uh, or I like fajitas too, man. I go to the Mexican yeah. restaurant. I love ordering fajitas. Or Sasuke. Those are my two favorite anime characters. Um, but animation in general. Ponyo. You Ponyo. That's yeah. That's a. Ponyo, you can baby. just do Studio Ghibli movies. There Ponyo you go. loves ham. There you go. Ponyo loves ham. Uh, but Iron Giant, actually, in all animation, might actually, yeah. That's Vin Diesel. My boy, Vinny D. That is Vin Diesel. That is Vin Diesel. Uh, Rick Hunter. Hunter. I was going to say one of them boys from Ninja Scroll, but I don't remember any of their names. Ninja Scroll is my gateway and my also stuff. No! Best horror remake of all time! No, it's still Dawn of the Dead. He's getting you all jazzed up for a new answer, and it's the same one. Okay, I'll be honest with you. The best horror remake of all time is... The Fog. And I'm out. <laughs> Leave. You're done. You're it's actually done. the worst horror Robotech. remake. I've heard, uh, I'm heard. i going to check that out. I need to get more into anime. Actually, suggest... You guys in the comments, suggest anime for me. Robotech is something you should watch. Robotech, it's give me some more. And Akira. All of you guys, just give me some more. Uh, if Iron Man was a food, what food would he be? If Iron Man was a food? Yeah. Oh. Uh, he'd be a five-hour energy drink. Ooh, but that's not food. <laughs> But when you work on the railroad, it is food. <laughs> if y'all didn't know, he works on the railroad. I worked on the railroad for two years of my life, building railroad tracks and fixing them and putting derailed cars back on the tracks. Five hour energy is breakfast and lunch. <laughs> I feel like Iron Man would be one of those pretentious foods where, like, it comes out in a dome and you motherfucker comes in, he cracks it, and the smoke escapes and it's really like just a piece of fish just Jesus, like that big yeah Cobain games in the house what's up Aaron what's up bud beyond honored once again if you guys have not checked out Cobain games go ahead and subscribe to their channel right now because hey Aaron you're a food guy if Iron Man was a food what food would he be let me know in the comments below oh thank you oh, brother yeah that. we're knocking on 1.5k's door and I'm like let me in 
Let me in. Oh, you know what Iron Man would be? He'd be one of those when you go to those uh, three-star Michelin restaurants and they have the uh, $25 cheesecake and it's just like this big. That's what yeah. he would be. And whatever cake has a lot of alcohol in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go. He'd be a bourbon chicken. Yeah, what, what, food would, uh, <laughs> what food would Iron Man be if he was a food? If ticket prices doubled... What they are now. Yeah. Okay, if, if, if ticket prices doubled what they are now, would you still go to the cinemas? Uh, I would because I am a cinema junkie. He'd be one of those uh, quinoa dishes with the raspberry compote. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, he would. Yes, he yes, would. Yes, he would. Yes, he would. Uh, yes, I will. The only thing that's going to keep me from going to movie theaters is um, just not being a movie COVID. theater. No, I'd still go. Well, if there's a different weird Actually... Pandemic. Uh, so they did this whole thing. I remember during um, the pandemic, uh, apparently they don't want you saying COVID on, on YouTube anymore. But if you remember, they had that two month span. I said Brovid. From May to July, where they did back in 20, they did open the theaters for like a couple weeks to test it out. I was, I was there. I was the only one. I went to the Regal right here in Somerville. So if prices would double, I, I think that if prices doubled, then the value of the movie would double. So I would always go. Same thing with me. If it doubled right. Today, I would still go. Well, they're Aaron, probably... Aaron said he would still go, They're too. probably going to double because we're about to have hyperinflation in the United States. Hence, I was, I, hence I was watching the news this week, y'all. <laughs> one week away from entertaining me, watches regular people news. Get away from that. Oh, it's your Get turn. away from that. <laughs> so, yes, we would still go to the real news. We live in the fantasy world. Fuck the real world. We live in our box. That's where we want to stay. Like AI that's about to come out of the room. <laughs> Elon Musk, get the fuck out of here. All right, what comic book character that's not already been one? Just need to fix the audio and darkness levels. We do, or you do for your stream? Either way. What comic book character that's not already one would make a great theme park ride? What comic book character yes. would make a... So, as you know, there's an Incredible Hulk roller coaster. Yeah, I've, I've done the Incredible, and I've done the Spider-Man ride. Spider-Man is fantastic. Um, I think there should be a... Oh, there should be a storm ride. There is. Is there? Well, I mean, it's called the Storm Force Accelerator. It's not really a storm oh. ride. Oh. Uh, but it's like a twirly go round. Oh, there's uh, a most Superman. Most movies are too dark. Yes, that's what you're saying. They do need oh. to. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Make a. Yeah. I agree with that. Make it 18. No, there is a Superman ride and a Batman ride. Um. Oh, a Werewolf by Night ride. Okay. Where Werewolf you, by like, Night ride. Where it's like a maze and no, a uh, Walking Dead. Uh, actual you know, old simulator would be fantastic because Walking Dead is comic book where you actually walk through like a forest of zombies and you have like a paintball gun to shoot Walking them Dead theme park ride that would be sweet very good that'd be sweet what are you choosing I'm gonna choose a Wolverine ride what happens on this ride it can't be a roller coaster why <laughs> because they're coaster. all roller coasters <laughs> Uh, I mean, a Wolverine ride would be good. Like, you, you are Wolverine in this scenario. No, a VR Wolverine game. Oh, would be great. Where you go around just cutting people up. You slice people up. I was going to say Swamp Thing, too. Like, a haunted boat Swamp Thing ride would be good, Ooh, too. Oh, that. That would be fantastic. In the bayous. That, that would be good. That would be fantastic. That would be so fantastic. But, yeah, Aaron, um, don't forget, like, you could promote your shit in our, like, stream and stuff like that. you got to stream later tonight, brother. I'm could Marvel make an actual horror movie? Absolutely, yes. They already did. No, they did not. Werewolf by Night wasn't a, it did, wasn't a horror for you? That's It wasn't even a movie because it wasn't even a feature length. <laughs> okay, by 1940 standards, anything over 60 minutes is a movie. <laughs> and they put it in theaters. That wasn't a horror movie either, man. Uh, it had, no, I mean, compared to... Could they? Yes. Will they? No. Uh, after Deadpool, they tried with they tried with Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. Everyone hates it, so now they're not going to do it anymore. No, I think after a rated R Deadpool three, we might start seeing stuff in Marvel. I would love to see a, a horror movie, but I don't think they could do it. I, I don't think Marvel yeah. could do it. The well, House of Mouse, they may say that they're gonna they're they're hard and they're straight edge. We're gonna make an R rated uh, Deadpool movie, but you know the it's probably gonna be R rated in the very slightest sense. If you could do. If well, they're doing Blade, you, if, if Blade could have a horror aspect to it, Midnight, uh, what is it? No, Midnight Suns. Midnight Suns. If they oh. did all that, I just yeah, it's it's possible. We'll see. We'll see in the future. I want an R-rated Wolverine movie. 
Logan. We already got that. It's called Logan. Yeah. It's but that fantastic. wasn't Marvel. Um, it was Fox. But it was still fantastic. One of the best comic movies of all time. Already a Fantastic Four movie. <laughs> yes! Yes. Sue, read. Show me how you made Franklin. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Sex. All right. <laughs> Professor X. Thank you guys for joining us. It's been so much fun. I love doing this kind of shit. So much great. Uh, so are you excited about Blockbuster making an actual return? I've seen that this this, this it's week. It's not April Fool's. It's not. It's real. Um, I don't know what it's about. There's no way they're bringing back physical stores. No, that's what it's about. I just can't see that happening. In California, there's like... And then when I go to California, which I'm going... Yeah, there's June, still a physical uh, one in Oregon. There's three more now. The reason that store has survived and is still around... Well, there's two reasons. One, the manager actually forks out money and pays for shit. And, and two, that store has become... Because of the documentary and Kevin Smith, that store has become a landmark now. So it, it makes money in that aspect. Um, but as the actual... Movie rental stores, no, will never. They won't ever have an actual comeback. So you're not excited about them trying? No, it's just it's just a waste of money. It'll it's fail. not a waste of money. I bought red. I rented Redbox movies the other day. From and Walmart. for the love of God, I don't even need a blockbuster. I have one in my house. <laughs> but it's the feeling. It's the feeling. It's uh, not the movies. It's the feeling, man. I still come into this room every Friday night, and I spend two hours trying to pick out a movie. That's what I would do at Blockbuster. I'm excited about Blockbuster. I, I am. If it if it were to, yes, I will. Oh, one in Charleston. I've always wanted a video rental source to come back. I never wanted them to leave. I mean, I managed them for years. It's the best place on earth. I'm um, excited about Blockbuster. Do it, and it also means it's like a little engine that could. Toys R Us is starting their comeback. Blockbuster starting their comeback. Next yeah. Suncoast video, and I'll be a set motherfucker. I'll be so happy. What? Here's what'll excite me about like a Suncoast coming back or a Blockbuster coming back. What excites me is when they inevitably close because then I can go in there and pile the movies for a fucking penny. <laughs> greedy. Kids, greedy. Um, no, I'm excited. I think it's good. It's I, a good story. I, I think, yeah, it's. I like the general idea. It just it won't work. Uh, oh, best Chucky movie. Hmm, best Chucky movie. That's one that you don't really like. People are like, oh, it's the best Jason movie or Freddy movie. We don't really ever talk about Chucky as much. The show is the best Chucky movie. Yeah, I was going to say the show the is show. the best. Uh, but I'm going to uh, just say the original Child's Play because then... The or, first one? I kind of want to say uh, Rugrats in Paris is the best Chucky movie. I was thinking... Oh, you stole it. I you're was thinking of like... Trick a, question. A, a he got it. Chucky. He got I'm it. Like, oh. um, Chuck Norris? I call him Chucky. That's the right Chucky. I think oh, man. Chucky versus Chucky? Let's make that happen. Nickelodeon. Come on, baby. My favorite Chucky movie is probably Megan. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, no. Ooh, um, uh, the original Child's Play. I love Brian Chucky, too. Honestly, it's a tie between the original Child's Play and Child's Play 3, which I know is a hot take. A lot of people don't like Child's Play 3, but I love it. Well, 12 people have seen it, so. Yeah. No. And All I right. was one of those 12. He was. And he was 12. When I was 12. <laughs> Go figure. All right. Here we go. Ooh, this is a hot take. Uh oh. Is Jonathan Majors done at Marvel? No. Well, we uh, it okay. So we gotta talk about it. Look, we gotta talk. About it. So we have to talk about it. If it's true that Jonathan Majors, it's not. He's not the one that did all this stuff. I don't know. There's two different stories coming out. It's he did something or someone did something. It depends what happens. It all has to come out. It hasn't all come out yet. If he is in the wrong with a certain situation, yes, he will be done. Um, they'll recast Kang, and <laughs> which is not hard to do. I'm granted, yes, that Ant Man. Spoiler alert: If you haven't seen the post credits, he's Ant Man. That kind of is weird now, but uh, you could <laughs> recast Kang. You could recast anyone. Actually, in Marvel right now, you can recast anybody because they've opened the multiverse. Do you think he's done? If it's true? If it's true, yeah. Yeah. They'll. <laughs> yes. Marvel's not DC. They're not going to be like, yeah, fuck, let's bring Ezra Miller back for some. They more. never said they were going to bring him back. <laughs> I still, I no, it's no not. No reason they didn't cut. The, the movie was done. I, like, yeah. That's a bajillion dollar movie that they made, and they're not just going to. Uh, there, there, there were up in the air about anyway. But no, there. if Jonathan Majors is in the wrong, no, they'll be done with him. Oof. Yeah, I think you might be right. We'll have to wait and see. Hot oh, take. We're down to two more, y'all. 
<laughs> Will Iron Man and Captain America return to the MCU? Well, there's already a Captain America in the MCU. I think that man will be Chris a new Evans. Iron Man. It's you know, huh? I, I Chris Evans and and RDJ will they be back in the MCU? Nope. Um, I think. I think no. I don't want it to first. Maybe, but I don't want it to happen. I don't think Chris don't. Evans is going to come back. I do oh. see RDJ. Well, I take that back. I do see RDJ coming back as cameos, but I do see both of them coming back for Secret Wars. Um, cause I think everybody's coming back for secret wars, but will they be a, still a part of the MCU and have, no, I don't. It cheapens. No. It does. His sacrifice. Yeah. If you bring Robert down. Now, if you want to have him as some sort of AI inside of a, a, a suit or whatever, but as far as the physical yeah. flesh and blood of Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark, I do not believe that he should be back. It cheapens it. And, secret know, wars. I think they should come back because that's, that's what happens. They in have wars. enough people. I don't need, like I was thinking about this the other day. Sure. Would it be great to see every fucking superhero I've ever yes, wanted to 1, see? Yes, 1,000%. But then it'd be over like that. You would get no time with any of them. It's that's fine. a scene that, no, I don't need it. It's, it's, Here's what I want. It's too much, C, too I, much CGI. I'm I want, out on that shit. I want secret wars to end. I want it to be like comic books. I want this, the massive fucking battle scene with everybody i want ben affleck's daredevil i want uh, wesley snipes uh blade i i want it all yeah i thought i wanted that all too will man. they return i'm pretty sure they will eventually <sighs> rob down jr's not coming back uh, i think he's coming back. Back. we're gonna we're gonna have a bet we're gonna wager he comes back no owes me a thousand bucks let's do it uh robert down jr <laughs> i'm need alone uh what's the best underwater movie of all time a movie set solely under the water oh the whole movie's underwater the whole movie's underwater under the sea um movie oh good lord yeah uh or let's say the majority of the movies under the sea the majority i was gonna say the best sea movies water world get out of here <laughs> <laughs> also if y'all haven't seen arrow video coming out with that 4k water world box set so excited i might be the only person yes uh the you, best you underwater Cosman. movie I, it, well, you said most of it's under. I was going to say, I don't think there's an actual movie where they... You know what Sphere might be for me? It's um, The Abyss for me. The Abyss. Yeah. James Cameron, James Cameron. Or I was going to do that, or um, I really do like uh, like 20,000 Leagues of the Sea from... Which which one? There's The main one. The one that anyone um, gives a shit about. Leviathan. Actually, the Abyss. Um, there we go. Oh, what's that movie that came out with uh, Kirsten Stewart uh, not so long ago? That was pretty fantastic. Uh, where they're all underwater and that big like Godzilla-like creature. Help me, I'm wet. Um, is that what it's called? Uh, yeah, I'll probably go with Sphere because I love Dustin Hoffman and I thought that movie was fantastic. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm, but The Abyss. Oh, man. I just It made me want to do that. And the whole thing of like breathing ambionic, am, ambionic fluid and all that stuff. And Ed Harris. Yes, this is a pretty fantastic oh, movie. Oh, man, which like the CGI for the aliens. Also needs to have... Uh, yeah, I'm thinking of Underwater. That's just what it's called. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was a pretty fantastic movie. It's uh, called Underwater. Yeah. All right. So that's the question of the bucket. Now it's free for uh, us to ask, you, ask yes. us any questions. It's the AMA portion of it. Sphere was great. Another Michael Crichton yes. class. Oh! Oh! Yes, I got it, y'all. Best horror remake of all time. I got it. You're going to be excited for this one. Probably not. It's down to the bed. <laughs> Why would you even say those words? Why would those words come out of your mouth? Everyone watching, what is the best horror remake and why is it Down to the Dead? Let no one know. It's not, though. I enjoyed the... I think, I think you're misinterpreting the word best. I think I think you heard horror. I think you heard remake. That Those words do exist in a sentence. But I think that the, the word that you're stumbling upon is best. And for me, best means not just good or great. It means like great or greatest. So I think that might be what it is, best. It's a four-letter word. I, it could be easily Obviously, it's Chucky. <laughs> is Homer Simpson in a coma? Fantastic question. Okay. Um... Is home? I've heard this so many times. It's, I, I yes. The answer is yes. Homer Simpson is in a coma. Is that something in pop culture? That I don't from know working about? in the radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. I guess maybe. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm on the Homer Simpson in a coma fence, or fee, or playing team. I got a question. Oh Are we all in a coma, and this is all the dream? No. No. I have a question. <laughs> Why is coma and comma spelled the same way? 
I, yeah, I don't know. That's my question. I have a question. Why did I go into fucking Hot Topic and see Twilight merchandise? New Twilight merchandise, including a baseball t-shirt with Twilight, Team Twilight, whatever the fucking because Twilight baseball. That's a, baseball deserves better. Because she's making two more books. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Oh, my God. Really? Is she really making two more books? She is. So, okay, so Will... <laughs> Here's a question. Will, Robert, will Patterson come back? No, <laughs> he will not. He's the Batman. He's not going to come back as Sparkle. you imagine what that would do to the Batman franchise if he goes back to Twilight? Especially after he said he hated oh, doing all those movies. Right. And Kristen Stewart's certainly not going to come back. No. Um, Ooh, was Donkey from Shrek once a human? Ooh, that's a good one. No. No, he was not. You don't think he was cursed and he became a donkey? No. Or it's like a Pinocchio situation and so, he was a bad boy. Here's how I know he was always an animal because he has relations with another animal. Yeah, but why does he love waffles? That's like asking why Donkeys water, don't eat waffles. That's in the like wild. asking why is water wet? Because waffles are the greatest food ever made. <laughs> Name three donkeys you've seen eating waffles in real life in the wild. Uh, there's the one at the, uh, Como Zoo, there's the one in my backyard, and there's the one in my bathroom right now. You say pants? Okay, fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. He was, he was a human. He was cursed. I think he was cursed, and, uh, he became a donkey. And I'm saying he was always a donkey. It's a magical donkey. Well, he's a magical he was one of the little boys from Pinocchio. Yes, it is. I love these movie theories, man. I wish to do a whole video on movie theories. We that could. might be what the rest of this live turns into. But yes, he was a bad boy. He went to Pleasure Island to pleasure himself on an island, and he became a donkey. So little boys and girls out there and kids of all ages, don't go to Pleasure Island. Earmuffs. Don't go to Pleasure Island. Don't let your kid go to Pleasure Island. Don't let your son go to Pleasure Island. Don't go to Pleasure Island. Pleasure yourself. But I wish that Disney World... Man, let me tell you, like, quick gripe. Here's my gripe. When I was a kid, I go to Disney World. That's not the gripe. As a kid in the, in the 90s and 2000s, there was Pleasure Island in Disney World, in, in, uh, Disney World, right, in Orlando. And I'm like, I cannot wait to be old enough to drink and go to fucking bars at Disney World. Dude... Have a great time on your stream, brother. Peace thanks out, bro. Thanks for joining us. Oh, man. Thanks for the kind comments, and thanks for you for the support. I love you so much. I mean, hang out in real life. Maybe some karaoke here soon. Um, but yeah, I was like, Pleasure Island. Disney World's awesome. Imagine you're an adult, you're going to bars, and you're talking to people, and fucking getting lit, and then they took it away. Took it away. Right before I became old enough. Pleasure Island's what it was called. Brilliant. It's Brilliant. where you go. Definitely let's plan on something soon. Damn it. We need to have a board game night is what we need to have. We need to film that fucking turkey movie, too. Or that, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot all about that. That turkey movie. That's right. We need to film a movie in general, y'all. We do. You guys want to see us make a movie? Hell yeah. Yes. We need to make it happen. But yeah, we're, we're on that movie train again. Oh, did you guys see my... T I want to show you my ink. I don't know if you saw my newest tattoos. I'm going to show this bad boy off right here. And then... Can you see? You know how you know Noah's old? When he just turned his wrist like that, I heard every bone in his body pop. <laughs> yeah, I got poppy bones. I went to a tattoo convention Mary and I did in Charlotte and just randomly walked in there. We didn't even plan on going to Charlotte for that. And then we're like, hey, 20 bucks to get in. And I'm like, hey, can you make me a Ghostbusters VHS tattoo? That is pretty And the lady's tattoo. like, yes. I'm like, $120. That's pretty... That's not bad That's for, not if bad. you guys got ink out there. I don't know if you guys have ink. Random, do you have any tattoos? I do not have any tattoos, y'all. And my problem is, it's not that I don't skin. want one. It's got sensitive skin. It's not that I have sensitive skin. It's not that I'm scared. It's that I know exactly what I want. Tell them. I want the Batman logo right here. The problem I run into, which Batman logo? Because there's 36 of them. The Returns logo. And I, that's what gets me. Got no ink, bro? Would you ever get any ink? He wants the bat symbol on his left shoulder. I do. Which... And I also want, well, now, now that I saw the, the movie uh, tape, I, I want something movie related on my body. Because movies are my life. It should I should have that represented. And anime. I love anime. So I'd have some kind of anime character. Also, my problem is, y'all. You get your Dragon Balls. Yes, yes. Also, my problem is once I get my first tattoo, I'm not going to be able to stop. That makes sense. There you go. So there's no tattoos for you. 
Oh, yeah. You can't have tattoos. Yeah. yeah, once you pop, you can't stop. Yeah, I'm afraid that I'll just come into the stream one day and my whole body will be tattoos. So you look more badass. I would. I'd just you look be badass now, but I would just be unemployable. No, not, not true. <laughs> Don't get them on your face or your neck. You guys got tattoos? Get it where you can cover them up. I wear long sleeve shirts so I can still have a very corporate job. Yeah. Yeah. Get them. Dragon balls on your balls. No one's seen your balls at work. <laughs> Well, in my line of work, no. <laughs> Tell them about your taxi cab confessional job. No. Yeah. Let's just have a whole stream. Uh oh, low power mode. Let's have a whole stream where you just talk about all your sexy things that you run into when you're Ubering. Mm, that doesn't seem like a fun thing I want to talk about. That might be a whole different stream right there. That could be another YouTube channel. That's a definitely another YouTube channel. Um, that's, <laughs> uh, Creed, what about you? If you're still joining us, if you're still on the stream, do you have any tattoos? And if so, how many Marvel, uh, Mario tattoos do you have? Actually, a uh, Nintendo tattoo would be pretty cool. That would be. All right, let's just talk about this. We'll wrap up the stream here in a second. So if you had uh, the opportunity to do a Nintendo tattoo, all right, let's say you're worried about it. It doesn't cost you any money. You're not worried about a corporate job. TriStar right there. Ooh, okay. Or not TriStar. Triforce. Triforce. Yes. TriStar. TriStar Tri Entertainment. Yeah. TriStar Entertainment. Just I was the, still thinking movies. The unicorn. Come I, on. Want, I want the horse with the wings and... No, I... Yeah, be the... Well, no, actually... Triforce? Well, I think it'd be really cool to have the Master Sword down my arm. I said Mario. I said Nintendo. Like, yeah. start right here. Re gaming in general, right? Yeah. yeah. So, Master. yeah. Just have, have the tip. Yeah, I'd go that route. Ooh, yeah. on your left arm. Yeah. So you get the Master Sword on your left arm. Okay. If I could go, um, I'd get King Boo. Oh, that would be sick. On yep. your back? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. A Bowser on my chest? Bowser on your chest would be dope. Oh, my God. This guy fucking has a Bowser <laughs> chest tattoo? Boy, that'd be cool. I have him busting out of my chest, like those 3D tattoos you Ooh, see. Ooh, that'd be kind of cool. That could be sweet. I would do, yeah, I would do something like in the, the scarier range of, uh, of Nintendo. Dry Bones. I got a Dry Bones tattoo. That could work. That yeah. could work. Um, oh, Resident Evil tattoo would be sick. Ooh, but what character? Do, uh, Ada Wong? No. <laughs> no, I would do the, um, uh, the, 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 yeah, the symbol. The Triforce. The Triforce. The Triforce. That's what we're going to do. I would do a warp pipe just right above, you know. You just could right just here. have it. I, almost, I couldn't stand up. <laughs> right oh, you guys check out my sweet shirt? You guys go to that Powerline concert? Back in 19... <laughs> my t-shirt game's been on fire. You see my red underwear, too. That's what people really want. That's what they want. They want our OnlyFans. Yeah. All right, y'all. Then we're going to wrap up the stream. I got WrestleMania to watch, and Noah's got, you know, whatever you do on weekends when you're not watching wrestling. I wrestle of sorts. Oh. Oh. Well, his fiance did just walk in. <laughs> you beautiful people. You're, our, you know, you're the heartbeat of this geek nation. Nerdy Dust and I, we always have our finger on that geek pulse. You can sh click in some places over here to watch more of the live streams or awesome videos that we have on the channel. Tell them your catchphrase, baby. Keep being nerdy. And we'll see you guys and gals and everyone on the next video. Peace. Out. Out. Peace out, Trout. Oh!